Hi guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm actually just excited. I'm excited. It's very, very unusual. This is my second video. So today, 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 what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about my teeth. Yes, they're all mine. They're all mine. So I, I, I've been loving this journey. It's been real. Honestly, it's been real. And the compliment I've been getting from a lot of people has been overwhelming. So yeah, definitely, if you want to find out more about my journey, about my Invisalign treatment, what my option, why I decided to opt for it, the, you know, the plan for the money and all of that, then definitely, definitely sit back and listen. Thank you. And also, do not forget to subscribe. Please, please, please click on the subscribe button and also like and comment. Thank you. Today I will be talking about my teeth. Yes, they are all mine, all mine, all mine. Uh, I've done the Invisalign treatment and um, I must say I am still undergoing treatment. So this is not the final completion. So I decided to do this video very differently. So I thought, what is the best way for me to sort of just let you guys know what's happened, how my looks has changed over the past um, 10 months approximately. I chose to do the Invisalign treatment. So this is different from your normal um, braces that you get. I think a lot of people are quite popular with the braces and I didn't know about the Invisalign treatment because I probably wasn't at I would say it wasn't something that I have seen before so this was all new for me so yeah I will tell you how I made my decisions and how I decided I wanted to do this um, for me I'm sorry if you're hearing like a really like weird noise it's me trying to like stand and lean on the chair at the same time not the best but hey we move so about this time uh, last year so what month were we in May? Around May, I decided I really wanted to do something about my teeth because I realized I wasn't necessarily smiling in all my pictures and I felt like I needed something to just give me that boost of confidence. So then I researched about my teeth. Initially, I'd actually gone to my dentist and when I saw him, he said, oh, you've got great teeth, you've got this, you've got that, um, you know, you don't need any braces with regards to your teeth. What's going to happen? It's going to change your jaw lines and you don't want all that happening. So that really put me off initially. And uh, I gave it a second thought again. And I said, you know, I'm actually going to go for a consultation and see for myself. At that time, I was living in Chichester. So uh, I decided I wanted to find out more about what I could do possibly to my teeth. So I researched on the different orthodontists in the area at that time. I had uh, an option of two people, but I actually chose one because it was a lot closer to my workplace and I felt like it was something I could easily get to if there was any problem whilst doing the treatment. Prior to that, before I actually went for the consultation, I'd done my research, so always, always do your research for whatever thing you want to do um, before you embark on it. So I'd read reviews, I've seen other people's um, stories, I've heard of other people's stories as well and I spoke to them so I went over for my first consultation initially I had to pay about 95 pounds and I was like oh gosh this better be worth it you know and this was about I think about 45 minutes approximately so I chose Palant Orthodontist so I will also be leaving their link below as well so you can always check them out if you are within the UK um, I think they've got a couple of places as well, but they are they are quite small. But I think they're starting to um, establish a lot more in different areas. So definitely, definitely research um, other places as well. So then I went in and we had like a sit down what I wanted to achieve. And I did say, look, I wasn't happy about my smile. We need to do something. I need to smile more. And he said, yeah, we can fix it. So that was the first thing that I was excited about. So another thing that he also spoke to me, my orthodontist, was I had a gap to initially. I will put a video as well.
In this video you could see that my front teeth was very spaced out and it had um, gaps in between. I had a gap tooth and um, he said look if you want you know to get your teeth um, all done you would have to close your gap tooth and now being African or being Nigerian if you had gap tooth it was like a beautiful thing I mean it is it is beautiful to be fair because I liked it but you know my dentist say by default it is a defect in the dentistry world kind of and I said okay fine and then it showed me like a 3d image of what it would look like with my gap tooth and without my gap tooth when the treatment was all complete this was actual picture of what my teeth looked like in 3D and then this was the finished product. So I had to make that choice there and then. Well to be fair I had to think about it so he did give me a bit of time. So I had to then think about okay do I want to keep my gap tooth and he did say the pros and cons of doing that. So one of the cons was and by the time I was done with my treatment and I still had the gap tooth there is that chance of my teeth reverting back to its initial process so I kind of just didn't want to spend any more, more money just in case I ended up finishing it and I didn't like it so um because initially you you have to kind of say what you want so when it's all locked down the treatment starts and everything so I then said yeah I will close it final decision I will close it so I had another appointment probably about a week's time or two weeks time and this was like a full detail so what it was going to entail and how long my duration of treatment was going to be this is going to be probably about 12 months so uh, that was probably the estimate of what he said so I said yeah that's fine I'm happy with that and uh, we did a scan so literally went through those you know went through my teeth done a picture because what happens is with the Invisalign mold the trays according to your teeth and what happens is you get series of trays over weeks as well and then you just change it based on how much movement your teeth is going at that particular time so that was the whole gist so yeah I, I think we're sort of getting somewhere but I was gonna also show you I'm currently actually wearing my Invisalign right now so I will take them out as well and show you what um, I do as well so yeah I think let me see I'm trying to think I'm trying to think yeah so af after that um, my dentist did say you know we have to discuss treatment plan payment options what you wanted to do and bearing in mind like I was just like oh I, I you know I'm not ready for the price because <laughs> initially they tell you all oh, nice good things and you're like yeah, yeah I'm excited when it comes to the price you're like oh my gosh what is this I did not bargain for that so um, he, we went through the treatment option I will tell you how much it costs later on in the video so yeah I'm just not gonna say it now <laughs> Uh, I think yeah so uh, after that he said come back in four weeks time and get your first set of trays done so I was excited but before I go through my journey I'll just show you how I wear my Invisalign so prior to that I had to they also showed me how to wear it which is really really good I had support all through and one thing that was really good about them was the fact that they monitored you via an app which I thought was really really cool I didn't have to go in all the time and that was nice I could communicate via the app so what happens is um, you take like a like a picture image of your teeth like a video image actually and you send it to them and then they analyze it and send you a result back to sort of say or oh, you can move on to your next set of aligners and yeah so my little bag I don't know if you can see it yeah so this is my little bag that I have I carry it everywhere around with me so this is one of the um, mount guards you get given I'll show you how I wear it <laughs> and I started with them um, you get given like a little bag like this it's very pretty very beautiful uh, I'll open what's in there so in here it's like a little um, it's like a little uh, box where you sort of keep your 
Invisalign tray. So my tray, it's in my bag. If you take out your your Invisalign tray, you pop them in, into those um, case and you can keep them. So maybe if you go out for dinner, you're actually not bringing them out and slurring all over. So, or you don't wrap, like I used to wrap them in tissues, which I thought was very gross, but I thought, nah, I need to carry this around everywhere. So now I just take it. So that's why you can't see at the moment. So uh, you also get a cleaning crystals. I do my cleaning at least every three days. Uh, reason why is it's such a strict re regimen that you kind of have to just find what works best for you. So yeah, and that's for that anyway. So that's what's in here. So initially, when you start your treatment, you get given packs of this. So this is the tray in here and this is numbered from you get you know you get given the numbers as well so that's for your own personal use it has numbers so when i started the treatment i got given about 24 trays and it was numbered so from my number one up until the end so i knew what i was doing but i was just waiting for the go ahead to say yep you can change yep you can change yep you can change uh yeah on the day of my fitting that was uh i think about four weeks after we'd done all the scans and then all the trays had arrived so when i got in you get like on your teeth on the actual teeth they put like little like bumps around there this is what you call attachment so i had about i think about six put on my teeth overall um, before you actually wear the Invisalign so that is to help target the teeth movement so prior to my teeth um, journey my orthodontist said I had great back teeth I just needed the front um, teeth to be fine so that I had like a big open bite it was enormous so they had to make sure it touched so every time I wouldn't be able to um, maybe bite down with my front teeth so that was very very difficult for me so I couldn't even eat anything from like if I had to share something with someone and just go like this I couldn't do that so uh, it was just a total mess and I knew I didn't want that for myself the first day when that when I had to wear it after they'd done all the fitting they've inserted all the little bumps around your teeth mine is all gone now but I'll let you know anyway I'll, I'll give you more information with regards to that so you get given your first set of trays oh my gosh when i wore it i was literally slurring everywhere it was horrible and i had work that day so imagine trying to talk to people like oh hi how are you like it was so weird your voice changes you just you just feel very very conscious of you speaking but as time goes by definitely you don't feel like you're wearing them but the, the first at least four weeks you're constantly feeling like you you know someone's watching you or you're you're being constant or of like i can't speak you're being conscious about the way you speak so i wore that i couldn't eat for about i'll say i couldn't eat for about 48 hours so what happens is because your teeth are like oh what are you doing to me what are you doing to me this is not normal they're trying to get back to the original position but your teeth is you know the trays are telling your teeth you need to move you need to move so every time you take out the trays to eat for example the pain was excruciating uh, as time went by i must say I had, I had really really sensitive teeth and i didn't want to even take out the trays to eat so then i found myself snacking less not eating as much and oh, you do have to wear this for about 22 hours a day. And I think the hardest thing for me was actually uh, not being able to chew gum. You can't chew gum. You can't um, have hot drinks. So my coffee in the mornings, it was just, I didn't have any coffees. I didn't have any fizzy for like the longest time. And it was so difficult. I think I struggled. I had lots of headaches 
or because I was starting to have withdrawal symptoms so it was so bad and I, I was thinking do I really want to continue do I really want to do this and I found myself the, the time I had a chance to take out my my break my not braces my Invisalign to eat I would literally just grab what I wanted and then just go and brush after so it is a very very strict regimen and boy you kind of have to just look at the bright side and say look by the time I'm done I will be so so happy so yeah uh, that was about that I think overall to be fair I think I didn't find it difficult like keeping to a strict regime for me so I I, I don't know it, it differs for some people but I'm kind of used to like certain tasks for myself and hit trying to hit the goal so for me my goal is to get really really great smile so I thought yeah I'm gonna do everything it takes to make sure I achieve what I wanted to achieve so apart from wearing this for 22 hours which I think was one of the hardest but um, it, it, it went fine for me I didn't really struggle I would say the pain I had was just probably for like the first three four weeks and then afterwards as I moved with the trays it got a, a lot better and ooh, ooh, I must say I must say another thing I struggled with was sometimes the trays would rub on your gum and you actually ended up having mouth ulcers so this is where sometimes you know the trays don't fit into the teeth properly so I ended up actually I got given like this um, little rubber uh, rubber rubbery stuff like a rubber glue almost to sort of shield your gum so that meant you're constantly like you know that will prevent the rubbing of the of the trays against your gum area and less chances of actually having like a mouth ulcer so yeah i did suffer from a couple of mouth ulcers and when i did i it would just make my speaking really really bad so yeah it was quite difficult initially but as time did go by i, I enjoyed it more so yeah yeah you have to brush twice a day uh or if you feel like you've had something really really like oily or really really like chocolate to type you kind of just have to wash off your teeth just get like a mouth wash or just get like a little toothbrush I had a little toothbrush that I would usually go to the bathroom and just do it and then come out so because the trays are so clear look, look at me I need to show you guys what I'm talking about so this is what the trays look like so the trays are so clear and it covers the entire bit of your mouth so uh, yeah, so there isn't any chance of even eating whilst wearing this when you try and like do things like just put in a snack and like, oh shit, I've got this in my mouth. So yeah, uh, that was that. That's with the tray anyway. I will be showing you guys how I take out my tray. What you do is you, I usually, well, I get my nails done most of the time, so it's a lot easier for me. So what I do is I take my um, index finger and just pull it down I'm not going to show you because <laughs> obviously I've got like saliva stuff on there so not the best but yeah so at the moment my teeth are closed so that's great you pop this in this is like a this is like an odd guy <laughs> so yeah when you do that they had an app oh gosh <laughs> right okay and then what you do is you actually just scan the teeth and then you fill it as well <laughs> that was so difficult but yeah uh you, that's like a video demonstration of what I do so you just literally grab the uh, mount guard or something and just pull it to the side and do it for the other one just so you can take pictures with your actual phone they had an app right so I think that's it oh I actually ended up losing my trays alongside at some point so I actually lost my trays for a while and 
then I didn't have to pay any money, which is great because some, some people, they might have to charge you for losing the trays. But it was so kind and I was getting towards the end of my treatment and I just lost my old trays and that was terrible, including the ones that I was actually wearing. So that was all gone. So within two weeks, they responded and I got my new set of trays and then I actually ended up with 13 more just so I can reach my final target. So when I got to the 13th tray, so the 13th tray, so the, I think for them, for the 11, 12, 13, it's like passive aligners and that's basically a exact um, composition of the 10th one. So that's what you sort of wear and that tells your teeth to stop moving. So it's passive, nothing happens, so it just stops moving. And then you go see your orthodontist, they review it, they say, oh yeah, yeah, you look good. We can start the next process, which would include like uh, putting a bun behind your teeth or putting like a little wire behind your teeth to stop the teeth moving. If you wanted to have any teeth whitening, then yeah, you can always have that. But, um, and then COVID hit us. Yeah, we had COVID. So right now I can't see my orthodontist. I can't see what my treatment is. So I've been wearing my passive aligner. I have three right now. So I've been alternating between the three of them, cleaning it. And for I've been doing that for about five weeks now. Yeah, about five weeks. But they've been very good. They've been keeping us up to date. So hopefully, hopefully once it's all done, once the lockdown is done, I would be a priority to just sort of get my treatment completed. So let's get to the price. <laughs> right, the price, the price, the price. That was about 4,500, yeah, for my teeth. Now, I had a payment option, so which meant initially what they like to do is they like to tell you to pay a bit more money towards um, the first payment. So that could involve like paying up to like a thousand pounds or whenever or whatever. So you pay that and then they can set you up with a direct debit that's suitable for you. Some people do 12 months, some people do 24, some people do 36. It depends on each orthodontist anyway, but mine done a 24 month. So I'm actually on a direct debit plan. I should be done with my payments next month, June actually. So it's quite good easily affordable for me it doesn't affect my monthly finances so that's great so I thought yeah I'm happy to just carry on with the direct debit plan because nobody has money for that and yeah I just didn't want to be hassling my parents for money you must you must you must uh, research price differs again the range how your teeth looks as well would determine the cost of your own payment so you might get it less you might get more expensive a lot more people pay a lot more money based on how much movement is required but my one um that was my price and i'm happy to share it so that's fine i yeah that's it really oh yeah so also i get asked about my toothbrush so what i got recommended by my orthodontist was to get an electric toothbrush and right now i'm using the oral b smart 4 um it's got a rotational head and for me that's really really good because it gets into places that your normal toothbrushes would not get into so that's what i use and i like it it actually signals to you if you're brushing really really hard and um, sometimes when you brush too hard you are damaging part of your um, gum area and you're less you know you're more likely to actually get bleeding gums so yeah um i love this because the moment it senses I'm brushing really, really hard, it just lights up. It gives like a red light, so that's very good. I actually do have pictures. So this, can you see it? Yes. So this is a picture of my teeth. Please don't judge. Do not judge. So yeah, that was my teeth before. So right there you can see I had my gap tooth. I'm trying to get this to focus. Yeah, so I had my gap tooth there. That was me trying to smile. Like my the day, <laughs> the day I was doing it, my dentist was like, "You need to smile." I was like, "I don't smile. I don't smile." But it was so bad. But now I'm like, "Oh hi, oh hi." So that's me now. But initially, I just couldn't smile. Um, and if you look at the side, that's literally like my teeth. Like my op my open bite was bad. Like I didn't have like it was. I didn't have an overbite, guys. It was terrible. So this is literally like my teeth 
protruded at the front and it was just terrible I had like massive massive um, massive open bite but what I realized about this was the fact that actually now it actually changed the shape of my face so one of the things that my orthodontist did say was the face of your ch the shape of your face actually changes and now I actually prefer it that way is that weird but yeah I actually prefer it that way but let's see so now when I do this I don't know if you can see it but yeah it's not as bad so I'm not done I'm not done yet so yeah um but it's it, you, we can see progress and I'm happy with that. <laughs> Do I regret anything? No, I actually don't. The only thing I noticed that I know is very, very obvious is you actually get the shortening of the root. So what that is, is you get a lot more teeth exposure. So what the top bit of your teeth, uh, you know, the, the like the skin bit sort of goes up a lot more, but that's very very little that's only if you like stare at the mirror for a very long time i've not had any problems to be fair so really i've enjoyed this process except obviously not being able to complete it and start my teeth whitening but yeah that's that's pretty much about it really but uh if you have any questions then definitely definitely like you know reach out back to me i will answer all the questions and yeah thank you guys you all will have been amazing like honestly i can't thank you all enough it's been real thank you thank you make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you share make sure you repost i love you guys so much thanks for watching